Hello everyone, my name is Ru Pingqing, and I'm here to introduce our project, VR, deliberately designed VR motion that diverge from physical motion to create more entertaining experiences. My co-authors are Wang Zhewei, Xu Yulun, Alva Lopez, Cai Qingyi, Zhang Qiaoru, Chen Weitian, Lu Lijun, and our work is advised by Mike Wei Chen. In our daily lives, transportation serves as a bridge from point A to B which road designed for our safety, following straight line and gentle curves. But what if we could transfer this routine journey into something remarkable by incorporating VR technology? In contrast to prior car-based VR approaches, that synchronize VR motion to physical car movement exactly. This method focuses more on avoiding sensory conflict through one-to-one -one mapping of VR to physical motions. However, this approach to VR experience design, which primarily considers comfort, has its limitation. In fact, besides comfort, there are many other factors to consider for an overall VR experience, such as entertaining, realism, immersion, all of which are important indicators to optimize the overall experience. The open research question this work aims to answer is whether fearing can enhance the overall experience with comfort taken into account. Fear showcases the potential for subst substantial flexibility in VR motion path and experience design. Fear's goal is to optimize the overall VR motion experience, transforming everyday journey from mundane transportation into an entertaining adventure. Here, a demonstration of VR experience design with fear. On the right hand side is a path one to one mapping, where you can see the entire experience perspective and roads are very monotonous. On the left hand side is fear, where you can see the adding variety of paths making the user perspective and experience experience richer, more interesting. And it also allows for experience and more inversely VR experience. But how to design this entertaining VR motion path? As motion paths are defined by direction and turning rate, two questions we want to figure out is how fast to turn and in what directions. To gain insight into user's preference for varying rate and varying direction of yaw, pitch up, and pitch down during three oscillation phase, oscillating, cruising, and decelerating phase. We conducted a formative study on metro train moving in a mundane straight line motion. To get the most genuine feedback from users, we choose in an in situ study. However, conducting an in situ study presented with three main challenges. The three main challenges are first, during the study, user must experience reward transportation motion. Second, at the same time, the motion must be controllable physical motion, keeping consistency upon repetition. Third, during a study, we had to control each user's exposures to both physical and VR motion to ensure user safety and comfort. To face the first and second challenge, we choose the fully automated Taipei Metro train as our study environment. The autopilot system ensures the consistency of the physical motion during our study. Additionally, we search for a most mundane straight line metro path in all sections of the Taipei metro system and end up choosing this section on Wenhu line, which includes four linear interstation segments. <coughs> to make each study condition as consistent as possible, the chosen four linear interstation segments have similar distance and have similar acceleration patterns to facilitate repeatable study. For each segment, it includes the three phases of acceleration, accelerating, cruising, and decelerating phase. We divide four linear interstation segments as one trip. The entire study consists of three trips, each focusing on one varying direction. The three fearing directions we focus on were Yao, 
pitch up and pitch down, which are the most common in first-person view video. To handle the third challenge, controlling users' exposures to physical and VR motions, we use a fixed high binary decision tree method, which can find users' preferred theory rate with full preference comparisons. Results show that users prefer relative high theory rates, around 60 to 80 degrees per second, close to turning rate of a roller coaster. User express preference for the enhanced thrills, highlighting the potential of fear to transform everyday travel into an engaging journey. And for fearing directions, user prefer pitch up fearing during accelerating phase, yell fearing during cruising phase, and pitch down fearing during decelerating phase. Further insight show a preference for fearing direction that mimic real life experience, like airplane takeoff, or sensation of descending hills. This alignment between visual and physical sensation in VR greatly enhanced the realism of the experience. After knowing user preference, the next question is, does fear enhance the overall VR experience, including comfort? To answer this question, we conduct a summative evaluation study to compare, first, physical motion experience with and without fearing, and second, fearing experience with and without physical motion. Based on the user's preference we found, we designed a veering path featuring 13 turns set with two VR environments, an urban cityscape, and an outer space. This is the VR experience we designed for summative study. Pitch up fearing during accelerating, yell fearing during cruising, and pitch down fearing during decelerating. The results show that 89% of users overall prefer the VR experience with fearing, while fearing decreased comfort as expected. It greatly enhanced immersion and entertaining. Fearing improved the overall experience with comfort being considered. Users found the motion path very engaging and more enjoyable compared to straight and very linear motion. 100% of users prefer the fearing experience with physical motion. Feedback emphasized the value of multisensory engagement and integration of VR viewpoint with physical body tilting. In our summative study, we discover a meaningful trade-off between comfort and entertaining. Yet, by carefully balancing this aspect, we notably enhance the overall experience, affirming that fear can indeed enhance the overall VR experience with comfort taken into account. Despite our encouraging results, we acknowledge limitations such as the need to consider additional vehicles and transportation modes users' posture and interactions, as well as ensuring safety and awareness for broader usage in everyday transportation scenarios. Fear's versatility extends to various use cases, from real to be unreal, from fully passive to active. This demonstrates its adaptability across different modes of motion and level of users' engagement. For example, users can enjoy a fully passive experience of first-person view video, or engage actively in a VR endless runner game, or a VR real shooter game during their ride. In conclusion, VR not only enhances the overall experience by integrating entertaining VR with physical motion, but also opens up a new opportunity for research and application in the field of transportation and virtual reality. Thank you.